Well guys, it seems that we uh, we have another video today, video number two. And this one, we got some news coming out of Green Bay in the past hour or so, reported from Tom Pelissero. I was actually getting ready to do some research on a, on the draft coming up because I feel like that's sort of the next sort of big thing to focus on. And so far, I don't really know too much about college football. Honestly, I got most of my focus on the NFL. So I was working on that. Start scrolling through my tweets. See, oh, the Packers have fired special teams coordinator Sean Menenga. So I figured it was probably good to come in and make a video about it. So the Packers decide to come in and fire Sean Menenga. He's a guy who was brought in early in 2019 when Matt LaFleur got this head coaching job of Green Bay. He's been with Green Bay the past two seasons. But now with sort of the poor performance we've seen this year from the special teams unit, the Packers have decided to um, make Sean Menenga's time here come to a close. And if we sort of take a look at these stats from the special teams unit, you may more so understand why the Packers wanted to get rid of him. So first off, the Packers finished 30th in, punt, in net punting average, which obviously when there's 32 teams and you're 30th in a category, it's not really great to see. Um, first off, starts off with a punter, J.K. Scott. Hasn't been great this year. He actually ranked 18th in average punt yards per punt with 45.5. So hopefully he can improve in that category. And then we actually finished 30th in return yards per punt with 4.8 return yards per punt. And I think throughout this season, there were sort of some some times where I thought potentially the, the special teams return unit could sort of take a, a little bit of a jump up. First off, with Tavon Austin coming in a while ago, that was like, what, like November, I'm pretty sure was when he came in or early December, something like that. It was a while ago. Um, I was sort of thinking, okay, Tavon Austin, he's a fast guy. Maybe having him back there to return some punts will get a little bit of a spark for the special teams unit. But we just really didn't really see too much from Tavon Austin. Um, there's honest, I honestly don't really remember any plays where he like really like blue blue like sort of shocked me. Um, so the spark that we thought potentially could happen with him just didn't really come. And overall, the special teams unit just wasn't great. We were also 26th in opponent net punting, and we finished 24th in opponent starting field position after kickoff. So when you're ranking in the 20s and 30th in certain categories for a specific you know area of your team, just not good. So the Packers are like, okay. Sean, sorry, but your time here has come to a close, so he will no longer be with the Green Bay Packers, and so I'm guessing sometime soon we'll see a replacement come in for this Packers special teams unit. But I just wanted to come in and break down that news, let you guys know real quickly. So that's all for today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.